Cooking Appa. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. So you can see from here, I'm trying to do a meatball again, but this is another variation with some a little bit different uh, recipe here, ingredient here. Later, you are going to see. Yeah, what's the secret ingredient? Okay, so now I have some uh, minced pork here, minced meat. And you can see here, I have some red onion, chopped red onion, uh, chopped garlic. Uh, this is the ginger paste, yeah, grated ginger. I have some chopped cilantro, some chopped green onion. And this is actually the chopped, uh, what do you call this, sheng guang. What do you call it in English? I'm not sure. Yeah, this is a chopped sheng guang. It's a bit more, I won't be, I won't be using all of them. Okay, and there's actually one secret recipe here, which is in this bag. Why do I use the bag? Because I actually use, put it inside and uh, use my hand to squeeze it into a small powder form. It is actually biscuits. Yeah, it is actually the uh, cream crackers. Yeah, it's actually two or three cream crackers here, and I use the plastic to squeeze them. This is actually the secret recipe here. Okay, now we start putting in the ingredients inside. Can put in all my cilantro, my garlic paste, I saw ginger paste, my red onion, my chopped garlic, my chopped on green onion here. And not forgetting my sheng guang. Sheng guang here is actually to provide some uh, water and juiciness yeah, into the meatball later. Okay, probably I don't have to put it everything. And let's do a bit of seasoning here. You can you see this? Okay, how you can see this carefully, clearly. Let me prepare some salt and pepper, a bit of sugar and some fish sauce okay I'm, again like last time I'm going to do away with soya sauce because the soya sauce is going to make uh, my uh, meatball get burned and become brownish easily okay pinch of salt Followed by a pinch of sugar. Some white pepper. A bit of... Uh, this is actually self-blended uh, uh, black pepper here. Okay, it's up to you, it's optional. And finish off with some fish sauce. Okay. And a bit of something wine. Oops. My uh, lighting just went off the battery. It's okay. I have another lighting here. You can still see clearly. Okay. Okay, you can see here, all the ingredients are here, so we can actually mix them all up. Wow, very fragrant. Actually, I don't mind adding a bit of uh, sesame oil. Okay, very, very nice fragrant. Yeah. This LED lights really uh, eat up my battery very fast. So I have to recharge again shortly. Okay. See this very beautiful consistency. Let's give it some uh, starch. Okay. 
One, two, three. Okay, at least three teaspoons here. Starch powder. Followed by a little bit of egg. You don't want to put it all immediately. You know? Later, you will be too watery. If it's too watery, it is very difficult to make them into good, nice round shape later. Okay, so you can actually add in your your egg uh, slowly, yeah, bits by bits. Let's mix them all up. Lighting a bit for you. Okay. All right. It's very very fragrant right now. Even before I start to deep fry them. I don't know about you, but. I'm a meatball person, deep fried meatball person and uh, my mother used to make this for me and uh, it's so yummy, every time I make this I think about her She passed away when I was very very young so uh, that's one of the main reasons why I started cooking very, uh, at a very young age Okay, I think I can give it a bit more Okay. okay, this should be enough. You want it to be uh, make it a bit pacey, yeah, a bit like paste. Very fragrant. All right, you make it. You want to make it like paste. This kind of consistency, this is the kind of consistency you want. Alright, I hope you can see very clearly. Let me adjust. Okay, so you cover this with a with a lid of wrapping paper and put and let it marinate for at least one two hours in your fridge. Okay, can you see clearly? Alright, let this marinate in your fridge for one or two minutes. Or one or two hours, sorry. Before you start, uh, before you start deep frying them. Okay, you come back after this. Thank you. Hi. So this is after about one hour plus. Continue from where we uh, left off just now. Um, something very funny. I uh, introduced to you all the secret ingredient, which is the cream crackers, and I forgotten to add it in in the last uh, video clip. So after that, I actually added the cream crackers, uh, crushed cream crackers inside uh, the the paste here. Okay. So after that, I uh, let it marinate in the fridge, and after I take it out, I actually roll them into meatballs like this. Okay. It's a bit smaller than a ping pong size. Uh, if it's too big, it may be a bit difficult to uh, operate later. Okay. So you then make it smaller than ping pong size. Also, um, I didn't add oyster sauce. I uh, purposely didn't add oyster sauce this round. Just trying to see. Sorry. Just trying to see if, because I've added a lot of nature uh, ingredient this round. I want to see if uh, the nature ingredients are uh, flavorful enough. So I didn't add oyster sauce. Feel free to add oyster sauce. Okay. And the third thing. Okay. Um, you, for those who are not confident with oil, you may want to do away with spring onion because spring onion can actually got burned very easily. Okay, you can, it's optional. Do away with the spring onion if you are not confident with frying things. Okay, so I have one pot of water here. I basically, there will be two steps. The first step will be using a medium heat, medium heat oil. To cook it until to, to fry it until about 80 90 percent cooked, and then we will step two will be we raise we will raise the oil to a high heat um, to crispify the outside. So, if you do this way, your meatball is going to come out crispy outside and juicy inside. 
Okay, so how do we know it's medium heat? Use a chopstick. You can see all the bubbles coming up, but the oil is not smoky. Yeah, you don't see any oil smoke, uh, smoky oil outside. So this is about 140. Remember, I told you the boiling point of what uh, oil is actually 280 degrees Celsius. Okay, so this is about medium heat, exactly the heat we wanted. So we can slowly toss in our meatball now. So how do you know whether your meatball is almost cooked? Basically, when the meatball is very, it is still uh, raw, it is heavy. It is almost cooked, then it becomes uh, much uh, lighter, okay? See what I mean? You, have, you can notice here, so part of it actually becomes burnt a little bit faster, become brownish a bit faster because of the spring onion. I should have do away with the spring onion today. But no problem. Okay, so for those who are not so confident, do away with the spring onion, don't worry. Just keep the other, uh, all the other ingredients will do. Okay, don't keep, uh, the when you first put it in, don't keep uh, pushing them. You want them to uh, crispify outside first. Okay. This one is faster because it's because of the green onion, you see? Ah. Okay? So we will slowly deep fry this and we will come back after this. Okay, this is after the about 4-5 minutes. You will notice here, uh, this one, the darker one is actually the one I put in the first just now so I'm going to take it out first this one also all the rest is more even yeah so this one I can take it out as well they are almost cooked 90% cooked alright see this beautiful golden brown color See? Very beautiful and they, are, they now become very light yeah? and the bubbles become lesser and lesser. All this bubble is actually the water coming out of the meatball. Okay. Very beautiful golden brown color. Okay. Now I'm going to raise the, the heat. I notice my oil is quite hot today, so I'm not going to raise it to super high heat, but just uh, maybe about 70%. Just now I'm actually using only about 40-50% of the fire. Okay, so this is what we have got, and I'm going to give it another few seconds of higher heat uh, deep fry to cr totally crispy fry outside. Okay, let's do this. Okay, let's give it ten twenty seconds. Will do. Okay, this is actually higher heat right now. That's it. I'm gonna take it out. See how crispy fry it is. So beautiful. Uh. 
Okay. So I'm going to put this after using the kitchen towel to soak out the excess oil, I'm going to put this onto a plate. Actually, I know this round my uh, my meatball will be more crispy. You know why? Because I noticed this round the pork fat is actually quite a lot. Okay. There you go, uh, my crispy meatball, golden meatball. So if you like my video, do share on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Facebook fan page to click both the like and following button. Please remember to click the like button, all right? And go to Cooking Appa YouTube channel to uh, click the subscribe button and notification button and view my other 100 over YouTube videos there. Come and follow Cooking Appa Instagram. Alright, thank you very much. Bye-bye.